We are Miriam, Adrian and Lucas and have been working on Ponslet's Purism the last winter semester. John Victor Ponslet lived from 1788 to 1867 and discovered Ponslet's Purism in 1813. Ponslet was a French mathematician and his name is inscribed as one of 72 on the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Ponslet's Purism is a deceptively simple statement which has proven to be useful in plane geometry. The statement is as follows. Given two non-degenerated conics on a plane, with one conic fully inscribed within the other. If an n-sided polygon exists, which is fully inscribed in the outer conic and circumscribes the inner conic, then this polygon will always exist regardless of the starting points. In other words, if you can choose a point on the outer conic and draw lines tangent to the inner conic, inscribed in the outer conic, and eventually these lines meet again at our original starting point. Then you have drawn Ponslet polygon, as we call it there, which Ponslet proved will exist infinitely many times no matter where the starting point lies. If no such polygon exists, then the lines will continue bouncing around. To illustrate this, we have a visualization that clearly shows how Ponslet's polarism functions. Starting with the simple example of a triangle, we can see that a three-sided polygon rotates within the two conics but remains the same shape despite the changing of the starting point. As we change the dimension and placement of the inner and outer conics, the lines change accordingly. Depending on the configuration, we may or may not end up with a closed polygon. A sketch of the proof of Ponce's porism can be found in the blog post accompanying this video. While Poncelet's porism tells us that if a polygon exists, then it always exists, it does not give us any information on when such polygons exist in the first place. Only 40 years after the publishing of Poncelet's porism was existence categorized with Cayley's closure conditions. Cayley's closure conditions give us an if and only if statement that specifies conditions of the inner and outer ellipses for which a Poncelet polygon exists when the ellipses are concentric. If these conditions are not met, then no Poncelet polygon exists and you could continue drawing lines infinitely without ever coming back to your starting point. It states, Given two 3x3 three three matrices, which define the quadratic forms of two conics on a plane, and given the following equation, where the right-hand side is the Taylor series of a branch of the square root of the cubic of the determinant of t times the first matrix plus the second matrix, then a Poncelet polygon with a vertex count dividing n exists if and only if the determinant of an associated n minus 1 over 2 dimensional Hankel matrix vanishes. That is to say that Poncelet's polygon exists if and only if the following criteria are met. For the following visualization, we pre-computed the curves for polygons with up to 9 corners. When playing around with the different variables of the conics, you can see a position next to these curves and try to find a configuration with a closed n-corner polygon. For example, here you can see me approximating an octagon. We hope that you enjoyed our short presentation about Constitutive Porism and that you find some use for our visualization. <laughs>